Do 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 I eat game. Yeah. Hey Vikings, Mark here, and we're in Quartzite Ridge, and we are doing another Animus Anomaly, and this one was pretty difficult. This one is a good challenge. I think it's probably the most challenging so far out of all the Animus Anomalies, but I'm going to show you how we can get through this fairly quickly and easily. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head straight to this big block. We're going to climb this surface, and that will give us to the starting point for this anomaly. And again, I know if you've listened to uh, some of my other guides, you know that I think this is like a Mass Effect themed like thing. And <laughs> it still is. I, I love the vibes. Uh, I know I'm really reaching there, but I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. So um, it sort of makes me happy. Anyway, we're going to make our way across this area right here. Now, when we get to this part, we're going to wait for this block to come back to us and we're going to leap over it and then we can go ahead and make our way across here. I want to make sure we don't leave anybody behind here. I'm going to try and be as clear and simple as possible with how to get through this because it gets pretty challenging towards the end. There's a lot of beams, a lot of light that we need to bounce around. Okay, so let's make our way to the top here. Now, when we get to the top, uh, what we want to do is we want to head to the right. So take th we're going to head towards that node in the back there. So let's go ahead and move our way here. Go ahead and interact with this beam here. We're going to move all the way to the right. And we're going to swing it and we're going to aim at that node right there. Uh, it's a little... It's a little touchy, isn't it? Okay, so once you're hitting that node with this beam, um, we're going to head over to the node now and go ahead and interact with it. And we're going to move to the left here. And we're going to aim it at the splitter, not that block. We're going to aim it at that splitter right there. Okay, now, once we're hitting the splitter, now this allows us to get through all the way to the other side. So let's go ahead and run across these blocks and these gaps and work our way all the way around. So I'm curious what you guys think of the game so far. Are you having a good time with it? Um, do you like these Animus Anomalies? Do you think they're fun? I'm curious because I, I'm enjoying them. I think they're, they break up. It's a good mixture with the gameplay. Now just pick a side, left or right, stick to it. And once the lead block is bouncing to the other side, just make your way through. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and climb and make our way really to what I think is the second section of this puzzle. Now, we're going to take our path to the right. This one is, it, you have to cut it close in order to make it, but you can do it. Now, when this block over here on the left, we are going to wait for it to start bouncing back to the left like that. Then we jump quickly and we're going to jump on to these little blocks and work our way across. It's really easy to die there. I died several times, but if you cut it close, you can do it. Now, once we get to the other side, we're gonna take this beam and we're gonna aim it at the node on the other side, just like that. It's really touchy, isn't it? Okay, cool. Now, so now that we have the beam bouncing, you can see it. This one's a lot easier. Once the, the, the block is underneath you, just jump and make your way to the other side. Now for this one, we're gonna wait for that block right there to bounce to the right and then we jump because the block below us is farther back. So once it's about right there, let's go ahead and run forward and jump. Now, when we get to this node, you wanna make sure that it is pointing to that block because it may not be. Um, I was doing a lot with this puzzle. So I would want to make sure we're all on the same page. Make sure that beam is highlighting that unstable block right there. So run across, climb up, and we are going to make sure that when we get to the start of the third part of this puzzle, there's a lot going on here, but we're going to turn to the left and we're going to head towards that node right there. So let's go ahead and grab it move it all the way to the right to that block right there, that unstable block. Good. Now that it's stable, we're going to run around and we're going to work our way to that node straight ahead. And we're going to grab this node 
this light beam here and we're going to aim it down at that unstable block so that we can jump on it and get to this node up here. Okay, so with this one, go ahead and grab it and we're going to move it to the right and we're going to aim it at this big, huge block right up here. Not that one, but this big one right there. Good. Now, let's turn around. We're going to go back. Now we need to move this beam to the right spot. So we're going to move it to that unstable block way back there. Good, right there. Now we're going to make our way across to the original beam. Now take this beam and we're going to move it right to the splitter, right in the middle there. And once you hit that splitter, it's, going to, it's actually going to hit two blocks for us. And that's going to stabilize our path out of here. I'm going to pan around there so you can kind of see it a little better there. Okay, so let, now let's make our way all the way up to the top here. And now the next part of this puzzle, I guess we're going to call this, um, obstacle. I don't know what to cut. I, I don't know what to call this at this point. But once we get up here, we got to do some fast moving. And watch out. Woo, watch out for this block here. Okay, so but that that's that helps me out with this because now we need to wait for that big block to bounce and start moving to the left. We're going to follow it and we're going to jump all the way down here. Now, wait for that big block. We're waiting for it to move overhead just like that. So once it's past us, we're going to climb up over here, jump across this gap. Now you see straight ahead, Go ahead and make that jump. We're going to watch that block in the back. You want to make sure that it's a little ways off. It looks like it's going to hit you, but it's not. Just hang it here. And so cling on to it, and we will drop down once that block is past us. Boom. Then we drop. Okay, so go ahead and run all the way across. We're going to pull ourselves up. Now, when you start hearing the voices in the background you know we're getting near to the end of the puzzle right we're getting there we're not there yet though so we're going to wait for this big beam to pass under us and then we're going to make our jump there you go so let's keep running and then pull ourselves up and now we're getting towards towards the end of the last part of this puzzle but i'm going to make this super easy for us i'm going to point out the path i take i took and um hopefully it will help you guys out now you can see we have all these moving beams, right? So when this one in front of you bounces and starts to move up, we're gonna follow it. So go ahead and run and jump. And I go up one, two, three, four, five rungs and then climb to the right. So once you climb to the right, now we're gonna quickly move up. And you should, it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.